Old Nick here from Technology Lowdown. So today I'm just doing a little uh, screencast here of an issue which you can come across from time to time when you're looking after a network and when you're uh, managing it with your managed switches. So the issue which I've been experiencing at this site that I look after is um, one of the wireless links has been coming in and out and just been disconnecting for sometimes an hour, 12 hours at a time. And aside from doing the regular testing to find out uh, whether it's an issue with the wireless link, say from interference, or whether it's an issue with uh, cabling, um, there's some ways to try and narrow this down. So of course, with your wireless link, one way to uh, uh, see if it's actually uh, the wireless link that's the fault or not is if you uh, bring up your device, I'll just open it up right here, uh, set up in here so it'll uh, have a ping watchdog where if it uh, is unable to ping the other side of the link then the device is going to reboot and uh, you can set your thresholds here such as your uh, failure count till reboot and that'll be when it will reboot so that is uh, one of the ways that you can find out whether it's an issue with the wireless link now in terms of working out whether it's an issue with the actual cabling which is what it can be sometimes. I'll just uh, open up the switch here. So this switch I'm loading up here is on the receiving side of the nano station link, which is uh, the M5, so they're the five gigahertz uh, variant. Um, so this is a, a Ubiquiti EDS switch. This is a uh, eight port, two port SFP. And uh, once you log in, you can mouse over the I button for the port that is of interest. And quite often you'll see either dropped or errors. So at the moment, this side is uh, zero. So that is fine. That is not really a concern for me. Now, if I open up the other side of the link, which is on the, the transceiving side. So this is on the transceiving side. The issue is here with uh, port nine. If I mouse over here, we suddenly see that there's a huge amount of dropped frames and errors on this port. Uh, one of the further things you can do to verify that it is an issue is you can uh, just do a uh, simple port test. So to do that, we can just uh, mouse over the I and click test cable, and that will report back that there's a failure wherever there is a failure. So what's one of the ways you can get around this? Well, of course there's an issue and that cable will need to be replaced. So what can you do to get around this temporarily while you uh, get out there to fix up the issue with the cabling? Well, one such thing is you can set your link so that if we go to the advanced tab, so this is uh, on the, the uh, this is plugged into the switch that has the fault. And because I've still been able to maintain some access to it, like say I just uh, reset the PoE, and it seems to come back up most times, uh, but it will disconnect uh, at uh, random times and straight afterwards quite often um, within a few minutes. So 10 meg half, I believe, only uses a single pair, whereas 100 megs half, that's going to be using two pairs. Um, and of course, gigabit is going to use uh, pretty much all of those pairs. So yeah, 10 meg half will usually get you up and going using the minimum amount of cores. So the reason I'm setting it manually here for the um, AOS nano station here is sometimes uh, network devices have an issue with detecting the link speed. So I set it manually and then I'll go to the switch as well, port nine, set it on your nano station first, then set your switch to the correct link speed as well, 10 meg half, and don't rely on that auto because it will most likely uh, not be able to get to that 10 meg half. They don't seem to negotiate too well at 10 meg half. So that's why I set it manually. And since doing that, the link has been up for at least the last 12 hours. So that is a pretty good short term solution until you can get out there and replace the cable. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please like it. And if you would like to see more like this, subscribe. And don't forget to tap the bell if you would like to see notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.